We'll get to Zeke in just a second, but first, SC30 Select Camp Steph Curry getting diced up by high school class of 2021 center. That's Chet Holmgren. He is seven feet tall, my friend. This is one of the reasons why I say high school players, they can adapt to the NBA because of lack of physicality, but also, when you're 16, 17, you go out there and test the waters. You can't do that if you're a football player going against NFL guys. But a seven-footer with those dribbling skills that was at nice. any age is unbelievable. That guy weighed 50 pounds. The only I'm thing sorry. nicer than that was this. Royals, Red Sox. This is Boston's Michael Chavez making a stupendous leaping catch. See, you say this is the hardest kind of catch to make. It's the hardest kind. When you are running to one of your teammates, you must rather run into the wall because you can predict what the wall <laughs> Man, this, you must rather run into the yeah, wall you, than you run into one of your teammates. You can predict where the wall is going to be. Oh, Absolutely. Correct. Absolutely. This is great catch. All right, to the CFL now. This is Ottawa rookie Devontae Dedman, and he just refuses to go down, taking the punt return to the house. A little dead leg. I think seven defenders. 20. Go get him. Dead no. leg? No. Oh, my God. Come on, 20. Dead That's leg. embarrassing. You like this, and then you take it away. I thought it meant something else. What'd you think it meant? No, we're no go see, ahead. that's for all Let's theory. go, man. We might get a viewers on this one. Get 20, <laughs> you don't want to know. Come, be, come see it. YouTube <laughs> sensation. Let's go. Okay. What dead leg mean? What it nope, mean, Jenna? Time for Take Your Pick. We'll do that in a commercial break. I take break. my pick. What's a dead leg? Hard Knocks debuted last night. Antonio Brown's son was slightly confused why Ben Roethlisberger was nowhere to be seen, which had us thinking, who would be better off this season after their split? A.B. or Big Ben? Nick, take your pick. I mean, A.B.? A.B.'s playing for the Raiders, right? Mm -hmm. John Gruden's coach of the Raiders. Mm -hmm. Man, Big Ben and the Steelers. Mike Tomlin, that organization. Like, Big Ben, for all his, uh, let's call it, unique aspects of his personality, if I want to be kind here, he's still an all-time great with an all-time great franchise. Big Ben will be fine. A.B. going to be happy to get to five wins. Man, he don't care. I'm a wide receiver, man. Look what I'm concerned about. My catches and my money. He got right? the money. I'm going to get 100 catches, and I got paid at that time to be the highest paid wide receiver. And also, Nick, Mike, what other wide receiver has their own team? What other wide receiver? Oh, that's interesting. None. None. But him. A.B. is the face of of the Raiders and will be the face of them as they move to Vegas. And for him, at this point, um, I heard he's having a little problem with his helmet. He's fighting the NFL because he don't like the way his helmet looks on him right now. It <laughs> so, is my real look. Yes, absolutely. That's a real thing. He's, he's sure fighting he's the, about the NFL way his feet over look his right helmet. Now. Moving on to the Packers, Green Bay legend Brett Favre said he's a little bit fearful of the Aaron Rodgers Matt LaFleur dynamic. Got us thinking. Who should be the vocal leader of the Packers this season, Rodgers or LaFleur? CC, take your pick. Oh, this is easy. Right now, Coach Mangini come out the back tell me, Chris, do something. Man, I've been trained <laughs> to do what the coach tells you to coach, do. Coach, please come test My it. Hall of Fame still team here. Bill Parcell says the number one way for kids to get their coach's attention, do what the coach says. No, there's no, should be no player should be the vocal leader of an NFL team. Man, it's a special job. It takes a special criteria, and you're speaking to the whole organization. You're not speaking to a unit. Matt LaFleur, let's stop playing, people. If the question I was, wonder what Nick's going to say here. If the question was who should be the vocal leader of the offense, then there might be a real debate. But Aaron Rodgers is not going to be talking about to anyone on the defense. I'm not going to be talking to anyone on the special teams. I'm not going to be talking to anyone on kick coverage. So for the entire team, it has to be Matt LaFleur. If it's not Matt LaFleur, then should just name Aaron, name Aaron Rodgers' player coach. Aaron Rodgers don't like, know enough about football to be got, the vocal leader of a team. For the and he definitely don't know Rodgers. how to conduct a joint practice. Oh, that's not necessary. <laughs> okay. Such a, such a. Let us move on to the Patriots. Oh, he needs to work on his relationships. Over the weekend, Tom Brady signed a two-year extension like that actually isn't an extension. It's like a non-extension, extension, extension. Then he put his Boston area house on the market. So... Will Brady be on the Patriots or somewhere else next season? Chris, take your pick. I'm going to say on the Patriots. On the Patriots is the best bet. I don't believe Tom Brady will wear another uniform. That's what Mr. Kraft told me. So I'm just going to go on that. And after he told me that Tom FaceTime, as I got on there, it's like, Tommy, oh, what yeah. up, bro? What's up with you, man? Uh -huh. Man, you looking awful good, Tommy. Mm, you gonna come up here and play for? No, I'm, I'm a little too washed up. I need a big receiver, so they went out and drafted one. Nikhil drafted Harry. Kiff Marissa. Yeah. Tom Brady, Patriots, they'll get another mansion, Jenna. All right. If I had to bet with my head, I'd say the Patriots. 
But with my heart, man, there would be nothing more interesting than if Tom Brady and Bill Belichick are both in the 2020 season, the league's 101st season, trying to win their seventh or maybe eighth Super Bowl, depending on what happens this year, for different teams. So I'm saying somewhere else. He's going to be an unrestricted free agent for the first time ever. His house is up for sale. He's clearly nonplussed with how they've dealt with this contract negotiations. That FaceTime call happened a couple years, a couple Super Bowls ago, and they still won't give the man his just due, his contract extension. I say somewhere else. Even though I wouldn't bet on it, it's what I'm hoping for. It would be the most interesting it would thing be that interesting. could happen to the NFL imaginable. I root for interesting. Let's go with that. All right, to the Cowboys, speaking of interesting. Yep, that, that's what they say about your hair. <laughs> reporter Todd Archer believes that Dak Prescott needs Amari Cooper more than he needs Ezekiel Elliott because, quote, points come in the passing game. So who's more important for Dak's development, Amari or Zeke? See, take your pick. What, who said that? Todd Archer. Now, I'm going to tell you, Nick, these guys, they're, they're not doing wonders for your career. We're putting too many of them on TV. We're putting a mic in front of too many of these people's face. And they say, like, oh, this is profound stuff. They've been saying that for 30 years. Of course, between the 20s and the NFL, you move the ball by running it. The score points in the passing game, yes, you do that. That's the same thing Brian Billick told me, 1998. So to think he's coming up with something, new analytics, no. But Ezekiel Elliott, man, he puts people in the box. He makes the offensive line better. Last year when the defense did not play 30 minutes, they were 8-0. Can Amari Cooper do that? Nope. Ezekiel Elliott, this is a landslide. Why are we doing these questions? <laughs> There's not many teams where the running back is more important to the quarterback. I don't pick the questions. You don't? No, he, he I did not. I don't pick the questions. Gentlemen. I'm not the producer of this show. Okay. Just At like the Aaron end Rodgers, of the show, they have on the, the credits the rolling. Oh. Executive producer, okay. The Nick answer Wright. is Zeke. They're one of the only teams in the league that their running back is more important to their quarterback than their number one wide receiver because their quarterback's limited and because Zeke is so talented. That's the answer. You keep trying to act like you don't have anything to do with these questions. See, see. I'm and every morning, the morning, you and the staff, Next time you, Krusty Dusty, you and Deontay from Detroit, mm -hmm. mm, can't mention the things he drank as a kid and hurt no, him. No, 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 no. Kelly, y'all come up with these questions. Coming up, are the Rams when they're good? Pep does to the questions. Suffer a Super Bowl hangover. What you need? Oh, <laughs> <in bed. laughs> a little push up.